you weren't in and other people I weren't in either. Okay. I don't know. So I, they were all in the, I don't know. I right. won't know yet because it's filtering. They're probably confused as I am, but it's okay. It'll be fine. It's not connecting. Very well. Oh, there we go. So it's in that. It's in the heart practice. It's in, it's it's in the heart practice. Need, no, yes. The heart practice. No, you need to tell them because you go and type. It's in the heart practice. Um, Where do I type that? I'm in the discussion. Yeah, the right there. Thing. Yes, please. Go to the heart practice link. Yes, please. On the event page. <laughs> and then we're ready. Oh, my goodness. I have a little lip. Yeah, it's on. I'll just wait and see. I'm gonna click on it. I have a whole playlist too. Anybody on yet? Oh, let me know if you can see me. You might not be able to. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if I get someone in here. I think I did better before on the other thing. I had everybody in. And then... Oh, here's the live video URL. Cool. I think I have the, I think I figured out. Oh my gosh. Yes, I need the mouse. <laughs> Alrighty, I think I'm back. I did the link. Just waiting for someone to say that they can see me. So let me go see.
<laughs> oh no, it's not paused. It's still live, and I'm the only one looking. Probably, or you're the only one looking at me. <laughs> oh, dang it! <laughs> it's okay. I'm gonna... two minutes ago. Someone two minutes ago, but I don't know <laughs> who it is. Oh, I bet this is just technology. I'm still live. Hmm. Yeah, that was it. You were on it. This was not what I planned, <laughs> but it's all good because I'm going to do it anyway. And I'll tell you, you will want to start at 10 minutes in this video. <laughs> so if you've been watching it for 10 minutes, you've been watching Marital Harmony at its best from my sound engineer, who I adore. And he's the reason I'm doing this practice. So I'll do the practice and it'll get recorded and you can join me when you're ready. <laughs> you might be ready at like 10 minutes. So there's a delay on live. So there's a delay of like, I'd say like a minute. So when I'm like in minute two, you're in minute one. So, which is kind of interesting. So now there's like three live videos. So if you find this, good job. Because Facebook changed in a week. I was yesterday, but I was having too much fun. So, okay. I must get my music on. Like I said, I'm going to begin right at like 10 minutes, into, maybe 1030, because now I only have a few um, <laughs> minutes. <coughs> Excuse me. I was playing in my garden, so I have no makeup on because I was enjoying the day, which is the best thing to do in the whole wide world. <sighs> okay, here we go. Well, this is going to be a nice little trippy class uh, because you guys are not going to be live with me. So it'll be recorded. Um, and that's cool. Definitely a lesson in behavior. So I should have taken care of this before. But I learned how to do something. So like the things that I've been learning in lockdown are what's important. And so this is a heart central practice because we're going to be 
working the unstruck sound, and that's at the heart chakra. And uh, so I've been studying all the different systems with my yoga philosophy um, certificate, and uh, some chakras systems and some traditions start at the heart, and the heart is really fire, not water. But today's practice has a water element. So we're visiting that space in your heart that it resides. And uh, so when you first start doing yoga, you get a lot of physical benefits out of it. And you're like, oh, that makes my body feel really good. Um, and then you begin to notice with practice, you get some emotional benefits. And people that get really into it start studying it as a science. And they study the movement. And they study the breath. And um, they're able to express that essence of yoga in a secular and individual way. And so um, I kind of seek to go a little bit beyond that because I was trying to think of how I could invite more people to practices, um, people that may not have the same layer of knowing that is accessible through my body and through my mind because definitely yoga, you can really access a lot of higher frequencies through your mind and meditation and breath work and even movement. So um, this is a practice at a subtle letter level, but I'm going to give you lots of modifications. Um, uh, it is a physical practice, so I'll be moving a little bit and then I'll have you move and I'll just sit here. Um, and then we'll end with the Shavasana. <laughs> and my sound engineer is so patient. So I so appreciate him. He has my heart. All right, let's come to the center of our mat. Rub our hands together. Just breathe in to breathe in and out through the nose. It's a very gentle practice. So let your breath be nice and light. And as you feel perhaps emotional releases, just let it go with a sigh. Deep breath in. And Deep breath in, draw the energy into the heart center. Inhale. And exhale. As you keep your attention to the heart center, go ahead and let the hands drop to your uh, knees or shins. And inhale, and you're going to lift the chest. And as you lift the chest, you don't want to push forward. So you want to just lift straight up towards the chest. There's a little lock in the chin, and you're holding your ankles to kind of support your spine as we begin to warm up the spine. When you exhale, you're going to draw the belly button towards your spine, but keep your sits bones really rooted. So you might have to have a cushion underneath you. And we're going to be sitting here. And as we sit here, uh, as we sit here and do this dynamic movement, look at the space that you create between each movement. Just a little space. Notice the incremental movement of the spine up and down and the staccato of the breath and try to make it even. So it's an inhale up, exhale down, all through the nose. And then your eyes are focused at the third point. So you plant with the third eye, the third point. <laughs> so you look up at your brow point through your eyelids. Um, and this one we just do, this is going to start moving energy into our spine gently. So as you inhale up, exhale down. Close the eyes and just begin to go in. <laughs> Keep that breath 
moving, keep breathing, find your rhythm. If you want to let the breath have a beat, you can say the word and nam on the exhale, so stop on the inhale. Nam on the exhale, that's a kundalini chant that gets you settled into your breath. And when we are moving our spine, we wanna be aware of what we're doing and that's why we're doing it for so long. Sometimes when people are doing it as long as we're doing it, you might think, I can't do this, and you may not be able to, so you just sit out and rest and come in when you, when you feel ready. And then also, if you're feeling uh, as if it's not beneficial, then long deep breaths is fine in this position with a gentle movement, more like slower, and that's fine too. Inhale and exhale, in and out through the nose. Inhale to hold up. Draw up on your pelvic floor muscles, your sex gland muscles. Draw in on the lower belly. Tilt the chin just a little longer. Keep the breath in. Draw the gaze up to the third eye. Inhale. And exhale. Bring the hands to the knees. Inhale and exhale back. And this one's a little quicker. So quicker than last week if you were here. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. super fun to do this by myself and have to explain <laughs> but I know someone will watch this because this practice is so beautiful and it just gets your body moving and it's wonderful to have all the layers of knowing like to be able to feel your body move around itself and have that ability physically even to make small circles is just amazing Take it in the opposite direction. We're all like inside. It's like hurricanes in Florida, but we have electricity and water, and we do have food and all that, and there are so many that don't have that luxury and can't go out and see the sunshine, and we're just so lucky to be able to do this and have a little bit of community and friendship and connection. Kind of weird, but inhale forward and exhale back and just ride it. Ride that space between each rounding of the curve because it's the whole thing is a curve, really. And your breath is the same way as you inhale and as you exhale. There's a little space transition in between. It's so beautiful. And inhale, let's just press it forward. I'm going to lift the chest just like we did before. Drop the chin, hold on to the knees, draw up and lengthen through the spine. Hold that breath. And exhale. Awesome. Take the hands to the shoulders, fingertips are forward and you're gonna do the little twisty thing. So when we twist back and forth, it's a pretty quick motion. My head's not moving now, but when I start going, my head goes in the direction. Um, we want our hips to stay fixed. So you really wanna draw up on the pelvic floor muscles and draw in the lower belly a little bit. And if I have belly dancers who are watching this, they'll know exactly what I mean, but you really wanna stay support. And the reason we want to do that is because this heart chakra is our transition between the higher, more subtle realm, realms, like our mind, and the more, uh, I want to say base, that's not a good word, like the more rudimentary, the more survival, you know, human forms of the physical body. And uh, not just human, animal forms, because it came from animal forms as a first tradition, the chakras were associated with animals. 
So we want to stay firmly rooted and and bound. And that's what I consider my first chakra. But if you think of some of the systems that I've studied, there this would be your base. Everything comes from your feet. So like we want to stay really open up that center. So take a nice deep breath in, inhale, and then exhale. Inhale right. Oh, sorry. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now you think you going this speed. I've worked up to this speed, but you can also do it slowly. Inhale, shrug, exhale down. <laughs> Inhale, shrug up. Exhale, let it go. Oh my goodness. Now, enjoy that because it feels really good when you stop and it's super good for your neck and shoulders. But I'm listening to African and drumming, Ginger Baker drumming, and it just makes me want to dance. But our head is going to dance now, not dance. Although I, the next one's good. So um, we're going to just take our head around. I like to go to the left first. <laughs> But you can go to the right. It's not a big deal. But the circle needs to be gentle. So you have to feel it. And don't let the African music from <laughs> the 70s like draw you into doing African dance if you're not able to because that's a lot of neck and spine. So let's keep it gentle. <laughs> and take it in the other direction. Take the chin to the chest, shake the head no. And yes, very gently. Take a deep breath in, inhale. Exhale, sigh it out through the mouth. Place the hands on the ground by your hips. Inhale, let the head rise. Exhale, let the hands slip back to your, your knees. So we're gonna move it and get a little bit a uh, little bit move the energy up a little bit higher that was a basic warm-up to help our spine be warm and we have one more to do um that's pretty physical and long um and i'm not measuring them kundalini usually measures them in three five eleven magical numbers um which many traditions have and share that commonality we're just going to do it to the beat of the drop because it works and um it's a good beat and it's about this beat but you could go slow, so I try to find something with a good polyrhythm for this. Um, so you can find your own rhythm in it. You're going to pull down, and as you pull down, you want to kind of hit the rib cage. So we're getting into the arms moving, that's the adrenals and all your glandular system. And you're just going to close the um, eyes. And it's like, <laughs> it's like, you're reaching for the fruits up in a high tree. 
You can get faster if you want. And just let the breath normalize. So whatever you need for your breath. We're just stimulating the glandular system, warming up the body. Inhale, take the hands up, draw everything up, close your eyes, hold tight, squeeze everything, center your being, inhale a little deeper if you haven't, and then exhale. So now we're going to do a little sun salutation. So this is the part I, practiced, I promised you in movement. So the heart chakra has, it's called anahata, and that means the unstruck sound. And so the music uh, list is an exploration of sound for me. I'm not a musician, I'm a dancer, but I'm really into music right now and how it's expressed through yoga and also through dance, obviously, and through my body. So I use sun salutation to see where my body is today. So I have lots of modifications. It's not really about doing the form, though I've studied that and I'm studying the yoga pradiki and all the forms. It's really about the nuances. So we're gonna use this beautiful music and we're gonna flow through it. <laughs> or maybe not, maybe you're just watching, I don't know. So I'm gonna start with my, um, in, uh, with my hands and, uh, my knees under my hips and hands. It's just a little arch up and a little round. A little arch up and a little round. So just continue that. The music that I've chosen for this part is very round and trippy <laughs> for me. Um, so um, I like to use the round rhythms for flow. So this is a really great way to just feel the music. Of course, you can't hear it. Because so feel that space between the inhale and the exhale. And the inhale and the exhale. And then play with the circle. And take it the other direction. We're going in another direction. As you play with the circle, feel the little crevices of your body. <laughs> I say crevices because when you get older, you start feeling things rub against each other. Sometimes if you experience pain, and yet you're still moving lightly on the earth. <laughs> so you ignore it, right? This is a great way just to get to know your body and um, just feel where you are today. When you come knowing that, you've got one layer of knowing, you know your body. So when they tell you, someone tells you this, you can say, no, no, that's my body. You know. And then, as you do it, feel how that makes you feel as you discover those areas. Is there an emotional response? And if there is, write it. Write it through the whole class. And if there's nothing, that's great right too. That's awesome. <laughs> Moving into downward dog, lifting up to the sky. Bring that same kind of ripple. For me, the ripple has to come a little slow. 
I'm trying to make a ripple in the spine, a circle in the spine. You may have to have it through a portion. Play with that circle, downward dog. Then step your feet, your hands, soften the knees, and gently hang forward. You can spread your feet shoulder width apart. <laughs> In fact, you can do whatever you darn well want because it's your body. <laughs> Roll up gently and slowly. You can't see me at all. And I kind of like that, actually. I kind of like not being seen because then you do what you want to do. Sun salutation. One round. We're going to end in child's pose. Between each movement, feel this space. Now, if you're just laying there or you're just sitting watching, you can do the same thing with your breath. So instead of your body moving, it's your breath moving. Um, and just notice your breath. If you want to do it with your eyes open, try to stare down at the tip of your nose. I like to do it with my eyes closed because I'm trying to feel how my body feels. So, take a deep breath in all the way up. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, step back to plank, and lower down. Inhale, rising up, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, downward dog, and linger there. Linger in downward dog. From downward dog, lower the knees. Tuck the feet in and come into child's pose. Stretch the hands in front of you. And if you need to, bend the elbows. Swing your hands back to touch your heels or come to your ankles. You can always prop if you need to. Inhale and hold where you are. And then on the exhale, Roll up to sitting. Use your heels to guide you, your ankles to move you. Roll up to sitting. As you come up to sitting, take a deep breath in. Exhale, sweep your space. Touch the ground. And then if you can't clasp your elbows or clasp your hands behind you, if you can't do that, try the elbows or just bring the hands lightly touching behind. Something to get a little external rotation of the shoulder, even if it's here. Just to get that. Take a deep breath in and open the shoulders and pull them back and down. Let your heart lift, but keep that feet forward. And exhale if you want, you can pull forward like that. Hands drop to the heels again. Roll up. And come to a seat. So the meditation is so beautiful and it has two meditations. So 
my heart chakra is a lake, so I picture it as a lake, but even though kind of the tradition that I'm kind of digging into right now, it's fire, so I think like the lake quenches my fire. Like there's a lot of fire going on in me always. Uh, it also calms the air in a way too, because it receives the air and kind of like energy, it shoots through the water. I mean like they, they're all intertwined. So I'm just playing with that metaphor. And of course I teach students that are gonna understand metaphor <laughs> and because they don't have the first language. So what is our first language? It's the unstruck sound or percussion. I would say percussion and our first words were chants. So kind of like going with that theme in my heart center. <laughs> so this is a chakra about that. I mean, this is a meditation based on that. And um, it has a very fundamentally literal mudra that you can use if you're like a very analytical or you're not really sure what I'm doing and it's too frilly. Um, what we're looking for is to sit into the heart center. So we're fingers, they're the Saturn fingers. And the right hand is up and the left hand is down. So it's the opposite of me. Um, uh, or maybe it's not because I'm teaching backwards. So let's say, uh, I can't do it. Anyway, right hand is up, left hand is down. And you make a seal with your middle finger, your Saturn finger, and you pull it right at the heart center and just try it because it feels wonderful. <laughs> it does. It feels really good on your back. Um, so, you know, because we're all weightlifters in this house, we all have, like, it feels good when you find a stretch that works. So this is the entire mudra for um, if you're feeling like you want to open up the heart center, you also put a little protection around it, um, it as you're making that visualization. The meditation is um, based on a chant um, called Sat Narayan, and it's um, – it's a meditation on the aspect of God that purifies and cleanses and heals. Um, so, of course, I've been doing that, too, because it's time for healing. So this particular mudra here is good for all of that. And you hold it the whole time with that intention, like water is washing down. And then the second one is more dynamic, and I learned it from a... From a um, a Siki, so it's a it's a Kundalini meditation, and it had music um, to it, and uh, it's also very common in other traditions uh, that uh, use yoga and um, the more traditional Indian dance um, traditions. Uh, it's kind of in that vein. It's not the same thing. So I totally borrowed it, and I've been using it all week long. It's absolutely beautiful. So we'll be meditating for some time until the end of the song and then um, which is like a, it's like 11 minutes but it's so beautiful and the movement that goes with it starts here and you just keep doing it over and over on your own time it's not a big deal um, like if you get it wrong like I always do it wrong because um, you know I made some of it up uh, but it has a story behind it so the water that's the traditional one washes over you and then you draw the energy up to your third eye. Push it out like a triangle. In the triangle, you're supposed to open your eyes right here and look through that triangle. You roll it back into your heart center. And then you lift up a lotus flower. Then your left arm comes over and your right arm comes over, which is probably the opposite of mine. Left arm wraps around you, right arm wraps around you, squeeze, and then you slide your hands to your heart, and then down. And the whole thing begins again. So there's a story. It's the water. It's the prana rising up. It's the third eye. It's the heart center. It's the lotus. It's the cleansing of yourself and the loving of yourself. It's sliding back to the heart where you 
other side and washing down the rest of your body to begin again. So that's what we'll be doing. And here we go. So remember, you have this mudra with the right hand, middle finger, left hand, middle finger, right at the heart. So your gaze can be at your third eye, or it can be down in your heart. With the fixed mudra, pay attention to the dance of the breath. Inhale, so you feel that transition, <clears throat> that pause between breath, that unstruck sound. Something resides there, sits there. So you can do the mudra, the dynamic mudra. Thank <laughs> you. 
finish your last round or you still have your hands in the first mudra rest where they are if they're in the mudra keep it in if they're on your lap go ahead and put them in kia mudra with the thumb and index finger together we'll take a deep breath in and hold the breath for just a moment as you hold the breath hold that space with equanimity so don't force it if you have to exhale, go ahead and exhale softly and inhale again. Sit in that space in a quiet way. That energy of calmness. Take another deep breath in if you haven't already. And do the same thing. We're going to do it three times. And then if you're in the mudra, go ahead and release the hands. Shake out the hands. Shake them out. Keep shaking them. It's a really sweet little meditation. You can come back to it. We did about seven minutes of it. Um, it works really well with the playlist that I have. Um, look for Earth Rotation or Illumination because that's an amazing the access to level. Bring the hands to the heart center and rub them together. Take a nice deep breath in. And exhale. Thank you. 
Inhale. Lift the hands overhead. May there be peace for all, light for all, and love for all. I'll see you next Sunday and hopefully I'll do a better job. Have a great day.